Pleasure to see you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, discuss an interesting film. There's always like uh, the interesting subject of how technology influences our lives. Is it something that interests you as a theme? Well, it's, um, it's a very good theme, and I wish I thought of it. Uh, and I will use that in my next interviews. Um, very, very good. No, the only thing that interested me was that I was finally going to be in a in a special effects uh, superhero comic book movie, uh, something I've never done uh, in my in my career uh, before. The fact that I was involved with Marvel, um, which I knew their track record, but I've since now found out just how good they are why they have the uh, success rate that they, uh, that they have. Um, and uh, I am going to use the theme of how technology overcomes in the future. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It. I'm, I'm going to come back later just to see how you've uh, <laughs> demonstrated it. <laughs> but it's very interesting what you said because it just opens up a whole world, you know, the comic books and the movies based on the comic books. Is it something like you've never experienced before? Obviously, you've had such an array of eclectic roles. Right. Is this a different world completely for you? Completely. Um, you know, I, um, I've been to a couple of these movies with my kids. I've enjoyed watching them, vicar you know, enjoying it. And I've, I've thought, boy, you know, of all the years, 40 plus years I've been in this business. And I'm, all, of my, all of my movies are contemporary, you know, kind of character driven, no special effects, no green screens and this and that. So it's, it's amazing. For me, I'm also a producer. So the chance to see how these pictures are are put together was, uh, was, was fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Well, Hank Pym is, you know, arguably the first Ant-Man. So what can you tell us a little bit about him? Hank Pym was a brilliant uh, scientist as well as a warrior, a great, great soldier who developed this phenomenal serum uh, that made him extremely wealthy and created this company, Pym Technologies. And um, he then had a secret life because of this serum, which could make him reduced to the size of an ant, like that. Uh, and he worked hard to save the world, to make it a better place, along with his wife, Janet, who called herself the Wasp. Um, and that's sort of our backstory. Now uh, we move forward 30, uh, 30 years, and he's semi-retired from the company. His uh, protege, Darren Cross, uh, played by a great villain, Corey Stoll, mm -hmm. does just a, a, a great job as the villain. Greatly creepy. Very, <laughs> very creepy. Has sort of a father complexes of, or, you know, wanting my approval. Anyway, he finally has realized what I was up to, has broken the code and wants to use this in an evil way. I now have to find someone to replace me as the Ant-Man, as a young vigorous person, and so I go in pursuit and, and find Paul Rudd. Not the most likely yeah, exactly. uh, superhero, uh, which we have a lot of fun with, but a wonderful actor. And so that's the crux of our film. Uh, actually, that's very interesting because the unlikeliness of the heroes is, is what makes this movie different from other superhero films. How important is the humor for you injected in those types of films? Well, for me, it's very important because I, I love humor. It's not something that comes to me naturally, but, you know, in movies, I love dark humor. I think for this film, Ant-Man, of all of the Marvel films, is the most humorous, the most uh, comedy, probably has the most um, kind of message, uh, both about I industry, but also about family and family uh, relationships uh, that plays an important part. So... Um, it's, it's special, and um, I'm very proud of how it's turned out and can't wait to share it with my children tonight when they see it. Also, is, is it going to be the first time that they've seen it's it? It's the first time, and, and it's going to be in 3D, which is, when I saw it the first time, it wasn't, and I thought, wow, this is going to be great in 3D. Which one of your previous films is, you know, the family film that you watch together with everybody? Well, let's see. Well, they, they, like, uh, they like romancing the stone a lot. Yeah, they, they enjoy romancing. Yes, yeah, so, so do I. It's a movie that oh, kind good. of cradled me growing up and loving films. Good. Do you feel satisfied that you've had such an array of characters that kind of satisfy uh, the urge of an actor? That, you know, you've kind of ticked all the boxes you've wanted, obviously with the Oscars and, and the recognition as well. I have. I mean, I, you know, um, as I said, I don't necessarily look for the part. I look for the movie, what I think is a good movie. 
the, pre the predominant, everything is contemporary. Would I like to find a, a period movie to do? Yeah, possibly, but I kind of pick and choose now. You know, you have to try to choose how you spend your time. I have a very active production company. I'm, I'm building a hotel in the island of Bermuda, where my mother is from, and other issues that I'm involved in. Uh, but I, I feel, you know, like my batting average is pretty good. I've had a fair share of successes over the years, and we'll continue to try to find the right projects. And finally, what describes Hollywood for you? It doesn't get more Hollywood than you, but what describes Hollywood in your opinion? Well, it's not in Hollywood. I mean, uh, they're it's making more movies in Georgia, and uh, they're making more movies here in, in, um, in London. <coughs> I guess the old term <coughs> really meant the studio system. But even that's changed to a, a very large degree, and they seem to be making only like one type of uh, super large picture. Um, Hollywood uh, can be seen as a uh, as a disease, you know, as it as it cannibalizes the rest of the world and takes up uh, the filmmaking. But it's our 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 best export um, for the United States, our biggest surplus uh, export. So. We seem to do it well, and whether people like it or not, uh, they reluctantly, there's a lot of, a lot of Hollywood movies that they enjoy.